You're listening to the Moose and the Loose, your 10 minutes action packed financial podcast with your host, Mikey Hu. Hey, what's up, Market Moose? Mike from the Moose on the Loose. Merry Christmas morning. Uh, I hope that some guys will listen to that episode like on Christmas morning, like, you know, maybe on your morning walk um, with your dog or with your spouse or with your spouse and your dogs. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm sure going to take my walk with my dogs and I'm listening to podcasts during that time. It's a special moment for me anyways. And I like to see the the, the sun rising, actually, and, and my two dogs like fighting <laughs> against each other during that time. I don't know. I find it relaxing even though it's not that relaxing but anyways merry christmas to you all um it's been a year almost a year now that i'm doing this podcast almost every work days um i've skipped a few but not so much and i'm super proud that i am in advance right now uh today uh, it's going to be a lighter topic it's actually going to be the books that i've read and um the podcast that i'm listening to that i really enjoy so you can have um a little bit more ideas for the coming week if you're taking time off between um, two big meal, maybe you want to relax a little bit. So in terms of books, um, I I must admit I didn't read that much this year. I read a lot of things um, online and I did a lot of research and I like subscribed to courses. But in terms of books, I I did read Kustard, um The what's the title again? Sorry. Yeah, in French, it's uh, Couchetard or L'audace de réussir. So I'm not too sure. I know there's an English version, but it's the book is about Alain Bouchard. I totally enjoyed it. I went through it like in within two seconds. It was a great book, very inspiring. Um, the other two books I want to mention is Tools of the Titans um, by Tim Ferriss. And Tools of the Titans is a book that is being on my shelf for several years. And um, from time to time, I just open it and, and I read a part of it. And this is what is cool about this book is... It is a, a encyclopedia, like I think it's like five or six hundred pages. It's a huge book where Tim Ferriss got like the best of so many performers, uh, movie stars, singers, entrepreneurs, sports legend. So he's asking them their tri- their their tips for pretty much any type of thing. So the reading is quite um, wide, a very like everything is like different from one place to another. So I just like to, when I have like a quick 10, 15, 20 minutes and I read a few pages there, uh, it's really a nice one. And the next one that is on my list, I started reading it, but I'm I'm not done yet, is the second book from Alex Ormosi. So if you are a business owner, you need to read his two books. So the first one was the $100 million offer. And this one is the $100 million offer leads. Uh, It's obviously all business related. So if you're not into building a business, you're probably not going to find it interesting. But what I like about Alex Armosi and his style is it's directly to the point, not too much reading, not too much, too many words, a lot of drawings, actually kind of like, um, it's kind of funny. It it, it it looks like like a 12-year-old I've, I've draw uh, those images, which I kind of like because I can relate. And, and that was it. I mean, this is just like a humble guy trying to help people and, and spitting out everything that he knows. So I really recommend that. If you have any business idea, it's going to like superpower your ideas and, and boost your confidence and, and dreams and passion. Just loved it. On the podcast, though, I do listen to a bunch of podcasts. Um, actually, one of my favorite is a French one, is a hockey one. So uh, <laughs> it's called Sorti de Zone for my um, French listeners. Uh, just a bunch of guys from a newspaper and, and radio talking about mostly the Habs and hockey in general. But I mean, I'm <laughs> I just like I like doing that. Uh, I like I like like um, weightlifting and and training in my gym while I listening to those guys. It's just a lot of fun. But then I do have a bunch of interesting podcasts for either um, entrepreneurs and also investors. So for investors, my two favorite ones are Acquired. And if you if you get into an episode of Acquired, I must warn you first, it is. 
incredibly interesting, but you need a lot of time. We're talking about like two hours, three hours episode. Those two guys, they do research like no one and they start their story about businesses from the very, very beginning. And, and most of the time, it's actually before the company even started. So amazing episodes on Nike, on Costco. The last one I'm... um listening to right now is LVMH. They also had a, a uh, one of the last recording that was done with Charles Munger, I think. So definitely this one is an amazing one, but you need a lot of time to listen to those. If you want to go a little bit more um, succinct, so a little bit more to the point, you have Business Breakdown that uh, offers a one-hour deep dive on, on a company. So it's less research than acquired, but still very high quality. Um, again, it's it's great because it helps you understand a little bit more the narrative behind a stock or how the business model really works. And 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 they're they're not just talking about the good things; they're also talking about the risk and and the threat. So that's what I also like about this type of um, of podcast. Uh, for my French listeners, I have um, one suggestion, and it's uh, Journal d'un Entrepreneur. It's uh, it's uh, uh, Julien Arun um, is from uh, Gaspé, and the guy built uh, Belief. He's selling uh, supplements uh, for people that are training, and his business is now up to like almost thirty billion a year, which is uh, not thirty billion, but thirty million. I'm, I'm so used to talk about big corporations that now the the word billions come right into my mouth. So thirty million. Um, one of the like largest brand uh, for supplement uh, for for workout supplement in Canada, I guess. Uh, very very interesting. Straight to the point. I love is is vibe. And the last one, and I'm very surprised that those guys don't get that much attention on YouTube and on their podcast because it is incredibly amazing. Um, but versus the success they have with their business, their podcast and YouTube channel are very, very small. And it's the Espresso Hour by Diki and Cole. Um, Espresso Hour, those two guys started their business a few years ago, uh, right before the pandemic or around the pandemic, I think. And and they started a business about showing how people uh, showing people how to write like ghostwriting. Um, so so when you have like contracts and then you write for a business and stuff like that, and then they grew that into a real empire, uh, offering like courses, offering cohorts, offering like premium memberships. It's just amazing because they are incredibly driven, but they share everything. They share like their plan. They explain how they do it. And that's what I found so motivating about them is whenever they do something, like not too long ago, they created, um, they built their, their, their recording studio. And there were like a lot of goods and a lot of bads there, but they share everything. They also um, explain how they their about their hiring process and, and how they build their team in 2023. So again, another podcast, the Espresso Hour, that you do not want to miss. They're super dynamic as well, and sometimes it's short, like around 30 minutes. Sometimes it gets to an hour, so it really depends on what you're like. So again, I'm gonna do a quick wrap up, and I'm gonna let you go. So for the books, Tools of the Titans. Kushtar, $100 million offer or $100 million lead. And for the podcast, Acquired, Business Breakdown, Journal d'un Entrepreneur, and Espresso Hour. So those are uh, things that, I mean, those podcasts, I'm going to continue to listening next year. That is for sure. So right, Moose, um, I hope that you will enjoy your day. I'm still going to come back tomorrow. So the full week we're going to have episodes so don't forget to uh, well have a good glass of wine and also stay invested cheers hey welcome to disclaimer if you're listening to the moose and the loose you cannot really expect me to give you buy or sell recommendation or financial advice right you're here for fun you're here for information and some entertainment but i'm not your financial advisor i am not your broker so therefore i'm not liable if you're losing money after listening to the podcast if you're looking for some advice, go see a professional. If not, you can enjoy the show and do your due diligence after it.